Hey everyone, today I wanted to make a video about snake plant pups, how and when to remove them specifically, because I have quite a few at this point, so I figured this might be a helpful video for some people. So to get snake plant pups, you need to make some cuttings. These were two cuttings I made about four months ago, so I just took two of the snake plant leaves that were flopping over, cut them into I think three pieces each, so making sure they were about six inches long, long enough for the bottom to be sitting in the water and the top to be out, and just change the water out every couple of days, make sure that it didn't get cloudy, and waited. At the two month mark, I started to see the snake plant pups beginning, and then at three months, which is what you can see here, I have the snake plant cuttings. I also added one piece of cactus, um, but we have the big pup, which I'll show you in a second, and then the beginnings of another one on this piece right here. So you can see it's still uh, pretty small, but this is what they look like when they start. So it just looks like really just like a really thick root coming out. They start out pretty white and then they start to turn green as they get a little bit longer. So it should start to look like this after you see some roots coming out at some point. Um, hopefully you'll see a pup beginning and that is what it looks like. And then this is what it will turn into. So you'll see that it has multiple leaves on it, which is really great because as it gets bigger, you know, it's just gonna look really nice. You can put it in a pot all on its own, really. So this is what it looked like at the three month mark. Not quite ready to remove yet. I really wanted to see uh, be a bit bigger before I've removed it. So here we are at four months and I wanted to remove it at this point really for two reasons. One is that it is much bigger and some of it already is coming out of the water. You could see the darker green color there, but also because the mama leaf is starting to deteriorate a bit. So you can see the browning and kind of the yellowing there. The part of the leaf is a little bit mushy, which are classic signs of overwatering. I mean, it's growing in water, so. It's not really a surprise if that ends up happening, but did want to get it off so it doesn't damage this pup that we have going. So I have my shears here, but probably don't need to use them. Um, we're just going to try to tug on it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and it snapped off really easily. Obviously you want to be waiting until it is a little bit larger. It has a root system of its own, not just connected to the mother leaf, but once it has that, this will grow fine. I'm going to keep growing it in water, but I could also just put it in, you know, a small pot and keep it in cactus soil and it would be fine there also. I am liking the way that all of these look on my cabinet though, so I'm going to keep it here for now. Um, but again, yeah, you just want to wait till it's large enough and has its own root system. That's the most important part. But obviously if you have a leaf that's becoming damaged, you want to remove it from that so uh, it's not destroyed. I, since I like to experiment, am going to try to save this, sorry, <laughs> save this mother leaf also uh, and cut off all the damaged parts and see if maybe I can get another pup out of this section of leaf because most of the, if you can see on here, most of the roots here are on the healthy side, which also makes sense. Um, but if I cut off all the damage, Possibly we could get more root growth and maybe another pup. So I'm just gonna try to do that. It looked like there was a little more damage. So I'm just trimming off a little bit more. And really all you need is just a little piece of it with the roots intact to try to get some more growth on that. So I'm gonna throw it in with the pup and see what happens with that. Give it some time and we'll get some more growth. Um, I do want to also show you the leaf that had the smaller growth on it at the three month mark. So we do have a pretty decent size pup at this point. I probably could remove this, but I do want to wait till it gets a little bit larger. Uh, you can see these, it does have some good white root growth here on the pup itself, but I'd like to have it a little bit more before I pop that off. So you can see how it's just a little bit smaller probably could survive on its own if there was any problems with the mother leaf, but we'll wait for now. Subscribe to learn more with us.